going to talk about uh, one of my uh, experience that I have with a uh, Microsoft form and Power BI series so I was in designing a quiz uh, for some of our uh, meetup uh, that people uh, respond to a form and fill out a quiz and then uh, the response will collect it through Microsoft Power Automate and trigger a flow that that flow actually collect the information whenever a, a response submitted and pass it to the Power BI uh, data set the, through the streaming data set in Power BI series and I can see the live response uh, through that via report or alternatively I can uh, kind of connect it uh, through Power BI desktop to that data set and see the data uh, uh, and uh, because I couldn't able to write uh, any M code or going to change the data for now so I have to uh, kind of write some DAX code to create some table and add more data to that so uh, in a one or uh, actually in two or three videos I'm going to show you the process uh, in this video I'm just showing you the simple uh, process of uh, creating the forms and then how I connected um, through flow and then in power bi service uh, so first of all i connect i uh, log into microsoft forms uh, here if you click on them uh, you can add a new one here or you can um, add a new quiz one because i'm going to create a quiz for that so i'm going to check it i call it ai quiz i can add some description I add some questions so the first question definitely is the email address of the people uh, because I want to distinguish between that in a second one I'm going to add a question like um, languages So the question is which languages cannot be used inside Azure ML one Azure ML designer uh, question and then Java. So imagine that this is a simple one. So I just get a uh, two question over here. Uh, so I will going to add another one. So these are the questions that I have and so i'm going to just look at them to see that how they look like so these are the three questions that i have uh, for this scenario i'm going to just saying that anyone can respond and uh, so yeah now i actually i create my question here i need to go to the uh, power bi service so i'm going to my power bi service to the my workspace so over here I'm going to add uh, I'm going to add a new streaming data set and I'm using the API for that one so here we need to name it so I call it quiz AI and we need to provide the value that we are going to ask over here so here I need to put the questions that I have over here so the first one was email address so I put it over here then I'm going to add other ones that was uh, this one I copy that one and put it over here and also the last one and then um, I just want to see the historical data and all of them are, uh, are the text so I just create that one so here is actually created now i need to navigate to microsoft power automate so you need to go to there so power automate uh, i log in with the same one but again it can be different account it shouldn't be the same 
account over there so I'm going to sign in and now I'm going to my flow going to create a new flow through that so uh, just a, uh, going to create a simple one so instant flow just skip uh, here I want to so based on the charts that we talk about that so we create a flow people will fill it out and I'm going that whenever people respond to that I want to create a flow that trigger by response so uh, I'm searching for that one so I need a trigger to be a Microsoft flow when a new response is submitted so here and I need to sign in to the login that I have it is uh, my actual this one and I'm happy to do that it's going to bring all of the uh, actually one that I have uh, all of the form so this is a form that I have so it's done now in the next step I need to add a step to collect this information again from Microsoft form so uh, that was a response one uh, again the Microsoft form and I want to get and collect the response detail over here again uh, need to log in the form ID and uh, over here I need to collect the response ID in the next step uh, we are going to so uh, we uh, the flow has been triggered I can put a name for that so AI quiz and so whenever a new response is collected is going to call that one I'm going to uh, call and use a power bi so I want that uh, whenever a response has been submitted this flow start and pass the information to a data set so I'm going to use power bi and use the one that is add rows to a data set here I need to uh, search specify uh, the workspace that I want so this is my workspace uh, here uh, there is a, a data set that has been created over here so if you remember you just create a data set I think that was AI quiz so that is the quiz AI um, so here I'm going to search for quiz AI so that is my data set and the table is a real-time data so as you can see it shows me the field that I identify and uh, create them in the Power BI so if you remember uh, if you click on the data set over here and then click on edit you will see that we able to be identified before the email the language and the other things so here you can see all of them here so the address is the one which language can be used and also to use automated email uh, uh, need to be an expert or not so these are the response field that we already have from these three questions so yep so that's all good I just save it to make sure it's work now in a second step I'm going to respond and see that how it's work so I'm going to uh, kind of view it just right click here just click on view and we are going to so put it out so leila.com uh, that's a no and then uh, because it's multiple one I'm going to add some others so that's a, another email that I have and for example imagine that these are my response so you can add couple of response over here so now is actually it should be triggered so when you're going to the quiz you see that is actually has been triggered about 1 is 20 uh, second uh, seconds ago and 10 seconds ago so that means and is working perfectly now if I'm going to the power bi and I click uh, actually on the data set that I have 
and I said I want to see the creator report based on that I should see the data over here I'm just going to simply shows it as a simple data set that I have so this is a data set that we I have uh, so now imagine that uh, we want to in the next video i'm going to show you that i want to actually uh, access to this one through power bi desktop and do some more things on that like for example comparing the correct answer and the wrong answer and showing that who is the who answered the right question uh, so this is a for power bi service here uh, just imagine because this is streaming data we're not able to download it uh, so in next video you will see how we can access to power bi desktop thanks so much for watching this video